The 2016 Rolls-Royce Phantom Limelight. Without question, this is the most luxurious car we have ever reviewed at Carbus, and I am super excited to share it with everyone today. I'm Jay, and welcome to the latest episode of Carbus Unboxing Reviews. Yes, this is definitely a special edition of Carbuzz Unboxing Reviews because this car, the Rolls-Royce Phantom Limelight, it is only one of 25 in the entire world. But before I get started, I also want to thank Los Gatos Luxury Cars for letting us come on down and, and film this incredible car for you today. So let's get started here. Now, the Rolls-Royce Phantom, this actually first came out back in 2003. It was updated, I believe, for 2013, but it has its own unique platform, meaning Rolls-Royce does not really share this platform with any other car with the exception of the Phantom Coupe. And this is the extended wheelbase version. It's just a massive car. It, it, it almost makes limousines shameful. It's, they're, they're, they, make them, they look boring, actually. And I'll get to more details about the interior in a few minutes, but the, the moment you step inside this thing, it's unquestionably special, and it, it, it's just the very definition of luxury taken to an entirely different level. Let's call it uber luxury, which makes sense considering Rolls-Royce is owned by BMW. And just to compare a little bit, Rolls-Royce's longtime rival, let's, you know, let's, it's Bentley, let's say, that is owned by Volkswagen Group. So neither of these two famous British luxury coach build marquee brands, Rolls-Royce and Bentley, are British owned anymore. It's the Germans now, and that's a good thing. So let's hear this engine, because it's a BMW engine almost. Not quite. Okay, what you just heard was a naturally aspirated 6.75 liter V12. Total 453 horsepower and 531 pound-feet of torque. It's paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission. So, as I was saying, this engine, it, it, it's, it's actually very old. It's been around for several years, and fortunately, BMW has been able to get a hold of it and really, really improve it, meaning they were able to still make it modern and get decent enough fuel economy, which is 11 miles per gallon in the city, 19 highway, and a combined 14. Remember, natu naturally aspirated V12... The combined 19 miles, 14 miles per gallon, excuse me, is actually not bad for a car that weighs almost 5,900 pounds. Just to put this into perspective, a Jeep Grand Cherokee with a V8 engine weighs around 5,200 pounds. So this thing is even heavier. And like I said, this is the extended wheelbase, and it's built on an aluminum space frame body with coach doors, but uh, you might actually know them better as suicide doors. Rolls-Royce likes to call them suicide door, or coach doors, and you'll see how they work in just a minute, and they're, they're just so cool. And there's also a double floor construction, aluminum alloy, composite and steel body panels. I mean, this thing, it, it's almost a tank. But people who buy this, they're they're not looking for for high performance they want to be driven because like i said this is a car to be chauffeured around in it is even more luxurious than most limos you see out there i mean you you're very familiar with those old lincoln town car limos they're boring compared to this now this exterior here it is painted in gala blue and, and seashell and black hand painted coach line with a diamond motif Basically, that creates a three-dimensional illusion of a diamond bracelet draped over the surface, and at least three layers of that paint are applied. And these are 21-inch, nine-spoke, alloy-polished wheels. Now, 21 inches, those are big. 20-inch wheels are really, really big. And, and just to put this a little bit more into perspective, a little Mitsubishi Mirage, that little hatchback thing, that only has 14-inch wheels. So... Yes, these things are just massive. Everything about this car is massive and uber luxury. And I previously did unboxing uh, videos of the uh, BMW 750i, and I love that car. It's fantastic. Same with the Cadillac CT6, but this Phantom Limelight is just something else. 
Ah, uh, yes, and here is that 6.75 liter naturally aspirated V12. I love it how it just has Rolls Royce on it. it, it it's, it, it, it's just, it, it's unforgiving in what it is. It doesn't care that it's a gas guzzler. It's a naturally aspirated V12, and these are going to be gone soon. They're all being replaced by twin turbo V8s. Even the Bragani Huera has a twin turbo V12 to be more fuel efficient. And it's kind of a shame that these old V12s like this one are going to be gone in just a few years. But performance, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.9 seconds. And it's got an electronically controlled top speed of 155 miles per hour. Like I said, this is not a, a high-performance vehicle. It's, it's to be chauffeured around in. In fact, when you see the rear seats, they're probably even better to be in than the front. Again, this is one of the cars where the front passenger seat is probably the worst place to be. And even these Rolls-Royce colored headrests there, just to give you an example, they cost an extra $1,525. And this interior, it's called seashell with a navy blue contrast leather. Now, one of the things about Rolls-Royce that you need to know is that it, it, it's really big on traditional coach building. For an example, in the Rolls-Royce factory, there are only three robots that do all the final construction. The rest of it is done by hand, such as all of this, this really fine, high-quality leather. Now, the Phantom Limelight Edition, I want to tell you a little bit about that. It's part of the Limelight collection, and it's the most personal collection ever made by Rolls-Royce. And this car was debuted at the 2015 Shanghai Motor Show, go figure, Shanghai, a lot of rich Chinese buyers love to be chauffeured around. They are definitely going to want to get a hold of one of the 25 of these. So where does the name Limelight come from? It's, well, it's inspired by what we now commonly call the, the, the spotlight, which is the Limelight moniker, and it's a direct reference to the British invention of the illumination principle behind the so-called Limelight effect. And what was kind of cool, they made a big deal when the uh, original Phantom came out back in 2003. And it, this, this car, it commemorates the spirit of January 1st, 2003 at midnight when the new Phantom was revealed and handed over to its owner. Oh, ju just look at this. I'll show you what exactly this is in a few minutes. But it, it, it's literally a compartment on the door that you can hide your jewelry and watches and all that because that's what rich people who ride around this thing what we're gonna want to do so when i first saw this interior or especially this dash layout specifically you know it, it is definitely kind of more conservative remember the overall design and technology of this car date back to 2003 but this it, it has been updated since then now it doesn't personally appeal to me because i think this is very conservative traditional old school styling it harkens back to all the great rolls royces throughout the 20th century but i appreciate it for what this car is Just look at the transmission uh, gauge right there, too. It's just, again, it, it, it's old school. Even the design of that steering wheel. And those white dials back there, the instrument dials, they cost an extra $8,525 on normal Phantoms. Absolutely insane. Everything here, real wood. There is not a cheap component to be found. All metal buttons, you name it. Real chrome. And when I get to the pricing here, you're going to completely understand why Rolls-Royce didn't do anything on the cheap. Because people who spend this much, even if they never sit in the front seats, they're going to expect only the best and they've been given it. Now, some of the extra, or excuse me, standard features you get in any Phantom is going to be a full leather interior with heated front and rear seats, veneered picnic tables, power closing assistance for the rear coach doors, soft close automatic for all doors, a power close trunk lid, and as you saw in the beginning of this video, an electronically retracting Spirit of Ecstasy hood ornament. reason why they have that is because 
Well, Rolls Royce owners don't want their Spirit of Ecstasy hood ornaments being stolen because they're very expensive to fix. So Rolls Royce was just like, well, we'll just find a way to hide them. And that was the, uh, that was the result. So this, the touch screen, or rather the infotainment system, if this looks familiar to you, it's because it probably is. Remember I mentioned that Rolls-Royce is owned by BMW, so this is essentially an updated, slightly modified version of BMW's iDrive. As you can see, in just a moment, ah, right, of course, you gotta have a place for your uh, cigarettes. Ah, there it is. That is the typical rotary dial that you find on all the uh, BMW iDrive systems. So if you know iDrive, this will be very, very familiar and easy to use. Now this car, it's equipped with, of course, an amazing stereo. It's a Lexicon Logic audio system, 600 watt, nine channel amplifier, 15 speakers, including two floor mounted subwoofers. And of course, cup holders, you gotta have them. Ah, but check out the way the glove box opens. Nothing is ordinary about this car. It's just by pressing the button and watching the door open right there. It's just, it's fun to watch. And it's all lit up inside the glove box. It's, it's just overall the car is an experience to be in. And just because this car goes back to 2003, Rolls-Royce has been updating the technology. Of course, you have USB ports for smartphones today. Again, the smartphones weren't really out so much in 2003. This car has them now. I like the way the uh, climate control features there. Again, I like, you know, it's cool that you can actually touch it as opposed to being on a pure touch screen, the, the, the dual zone climate control up front. Maybe it is a little older technology, but I, I really like the application of it in this car. It's this Phantom Limelight, it's just a wonderful mix of, of old and new tech. And that blend is what makes it really, really special. And whatever car replaces this, it's it may not have some of the character of, of this Phantom Limelight, just because Rolls-Royce and its parent BMW company is going to want to push everything more and more. Now, some other standard features you're going to get in the Phantom, any Phantom, is satellite radio, Bluetooth, voice recognition, park distance control, front and rear, a camera system that consists of a front side view cameras, top view cameras, and rear camera with path prediction, uh, prediction actually. And there's, of course, a heated windshield, rain sensing, variable sp uh, speed, windscreen wipers, everything, the whole bag, you're getting it in this car. And, of course, the driver has electronic telescope steer steering. LED headlights, of course. God, I just love that front end. It's, it, it, it's like, I'm a Rolls Royce, and I don't care what it is you're driving, even if it is a Bentley. And yes, this exterior styling, even though it has some really cool dual exhaust system there, it is it is very conservative. So either you like it or you don't. I don't see much appeal to this for younger people, but Rolls-Royce still believes that this is the type of car that royalty or and celebrities are going to drive. I'd also like to add maybe the occasional dictator to that list. Now, some other really cool... Uh, phantom facts I want to share with you that is that there's 44,000 different paint colors that you can choose from and there's any color leather you want for the interior Rolls-Royce will make it happen for you and there's actually no tachometer instead it has a power reserve dial that indicates how much of the engine's power is not being used and available to the driver interesting And like I said, I, I don't see much appeal of being in the front passenger seat. I mean, yeah, it's great. You can recline and go in all these different directions and find the perfect seating position, but you're not experiencing that V12 as much when you're the driver or you're not being pampered to death when you're in the rear seats. Uh, 
ah, and this is so cool. Yes, that is an umbrella. There is one in each of the rear doors, and it's actually Teflon coated. So for that, it dries faster. When you put it back in, it doesn't, well, drip water everywhere. Ah, uh, yes. And this is those little shelves inside each of the rear doors. Yes, those are perfume bottles, specifically for the ladies. It's almost as if you have your all the creature comforts of home in this car. Individual leather-covered storage, you know, pouches for your watches, your jewelry, and anything that you want to keep secure. All right, so let's take a look at these rear seats because, well, they're probably nicer than the chairs or seats that you have at home. And these, of course, they're reclining rear seats. They recline at up to 27 degrees and the calf rest raises electronically by 68 degrees and the foot rest goes up to 30 degrees. And yes, in that little pullout table there, you have your own trip computer that is essentially the same screen that you get up front, the whole iDrive control, meaning rear seat passengers have complete control over the infotainment system. So even if the driver is behind the wheel, yep, they even have their own rotary dial, the rear seat passengers are the ones who are controlling it, if they so choose. And you could literally spend all day in the back of this car being driven around. The only thing that it doesn't have, or at least in my opinion, is a bathroom. And so what? You have to make a pit stop to, to use the facilities. You got everything else you need here. Look at that. Your own mini bar. Comes with glasses for both your whiskey as well as your champagne. And this isn't just cheap IKEA glass. This is top of the line special glassware that Rolls Royce provides owners with. So, what is some of the competition to the Phantom Limelight? Honestly, not very much. At least stock. You also have a few things that come to mind: the Mercedes Maybach S550 and S600. Those cost around two hundred thousand dollars starting off. Then there's also the Bentley Mulsanne Speed, which starts at around $340,000. And of course, especially with the Bentley, as is the case with Rolls Royce, you can ask the company to just customize the car however you want it, and they'll be more than happy to oblige. Uh, of course, and yeah, pair of cup holders for the rear seat. You got to have that. So let's talk pricing here. Well, as you can imagine, this is a very, very expensive car. Just a base Phantom, Rolls-Royce Phantom, starts at $492,425. This one, which includes a $2,750 destination handling fee and a $2,600 gas guzzler tax, total $660,450, more than a half a million dollars. Ah, yes, that's really cool right there. That is the Starlight. Uh, uh, roof that you have and it typically takes a couple craftsmen nine hours to do and this roof's lighting features over 1,000 hand-woven fiber optic lights representing the Starfield sky from Goodwood on the night the Phantom was revealed back in 2003. So everything in this car has significance somewhere whether it's commemorative or just showing off what I like to call that uber luxury. Now, I know some people don't like this front end styling. It's, you know, very squared off, but for this car, it, it works. Again, it's that great mix of old school, traditional styling and modern day tech. And I appreciate it for what this car is. But just imagine someone stealing that Spirit of Ecstasy hood ornament. It's like, you know, it's such a good thing that it it hides away. And yeah, just looking at it from the side view, you really see this car's age a little bit. All the power is sent to the rear wheels through an eight speed automatic transmission. You had a really short uh, front overhang there, which I like, a huge trunk as you just saw. 
And notice where the door handles are, especially for the rear, because that is the first indicator you see that it has suicide doors. Or coach doors, according to Rolls-Royce. But the Rolls-Royce CEO said when this car came out that designers delivered an authentic luxury by thinking deeply about the lifestyles of the powerful people who operate in the public eye and move swiftly from engagement to engagement as part of their daily life. The result is a beautiful, discreet motor car in which those for whom the world is waiting can prepare, relax, and arrive in the finest luxury and style. The man said it perfectly. I couldn't have put it any better. That is exactly what a $667,000 Rolls-Royce Phantom Limelight Extended Wheelbase is. So everyone, I'm out of time for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any more questions for me about this car, leave them in the comments section. Any suggestions for future reviews, also leave those in the comments section, and I'll see you next time.